Okay, we're now changing the hammer from the wheel. We got our wheel here and our lower anvil, uh, the cradle with the shaft. So what we need to do is to pull this out, undo this big bolt here. There we go. a lot out. We're now going to pull the bottom the bottom shaft out. There's two screws on this one. One is a holding screw and one is a locking screw. So there's your, lo your uh, locking screw. And there's your holding screw. Now we put the bottom out. We grab the shaft. Okay. Here we go. We grab the top wheel. <laughs> Put the big nut back on. Nice and tight, and we're ready to go. Okay, we put our anvils in. It takes a little while to take the uh, vacuum out of it, but it'll be okay. Here we go. Check it from steadiness. We'll turn up the bolt a little bit. Here we go. All right. 
Okay, one thing that you I need to explain is if the casting is very rough, when they machine it, they got to take more material off the top. And then obviously what they do is they come from the top and bore it down. So depending on the casting, how much material they take off, sometimes you get the fact that the, disc, the, the lower anvil is slightly further out. But there's no panic because all you need to do then, if that's the case in your machine, you put a spacer behind the shaft and you bring the tin out. In this case here, I need possibly two mil spacer. With a two mil spacer beyond there, I'll bring that out. It's, it's more important to have a smack on on the hammer, obviously, because you want the hammer to eat straight. But the fact that this is a mil and a half, two mil further out, it's really not a big deal, because you can still wheel in the center. But I thought I'd mention that. And it all depends, of course, on how much material they took off the casting. Some castings are pretty good, some they've got to go in further. So I mentioned that, and we go from there. So now I, I got the tin adjusted, I'm going to get the panel and start doing some, some work. So the first thing I'm going to do, as I mentioned before, you want to use the flatter wheel as possible. So I'm going to stand on this and open it right up. And the first thing I do is let that shape out onto the return. Again, there's no need to have the profile on it yet, we're just starting. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, even though the return is down here, I'm going to start very lightly through here. Because as I said, remember, in order to get a good blend, once you bend it back, down there, it's going to come straight anyway. And this, of course, is going to shallow out, so that we'll have to open and close it and check it. So the first thing I do is I put it on the wheel, adjust my pressure, and literally just very lightly pull up. No pressure. Don't put any pressure on it, for God's sake. Just look. Look. No pressure, okay? So, as you can see, I'm coming in a little bit more on the straight, so we say. And I'll let some of that out. Out through the edge that I stretched with the hammer before. And you literally walk that material away. You, you can see it, you just move up, move up move up and out. All the way down here on the blend. Very slowly does it. Take your time with this. Now you get down here, very slowly you stop lifting and you go straight. Yeah? Just go to the corner for the time being. Then come back. Start lifting a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. And then go for it. You can see I'm grabbing a little bit of metal at a time. Don't be too greedy. Don't try to bring it from one end to another because it, it's going to have to stop somewhere. So just bring it there and slowly, slowly walk it out. And don't stop at the same point all the time. Now, at one point that edge is going to get tight again, so I'm going to have to lose it again. So that's about to do that now. Check the edge, yeah. 
we're going to, I'm going to come around, get the camera to come around and I'm going to stretch this edge a little bit more. Come across a little bit here on the blend. The important thing with this is not to have too much pressure. You're digging in like there's not tomorrow. Keep your eyes on the material. Have a look where the metal is and literally let it out. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do a bit of stretching here. Not too much here, don't go too mental. And again, from the blending, into it, out there. And then from here, we're gonna go out into the bulbous. I'm gonna put some of that shape here back there. Where I want it. Now I need to pull straight. I might put a little bit more pressure. And now I'm gonna go straight. Stretch it through there and the wheel arch. Change these around. And start coming down with that. As I said before, this is only a primary. If you feel that you got too much metal there, you simply lift and then drop it. Lift and then drop it. Move the metal that way. Go back on the edge as I said to you before. You'll get it with practice, don't worry. Now we're going back in that fashion, very slowly through here, keep it all nice and together. When you see me going back and forth it's because I feel a hollow. You can't see it, but you can feel it. That's why it's important to have a, a good wheel. Now 
here, what I'm sure I'm doing now, I'm moving the metal from here into there. So I'll lift a little bit and then wheel up in there. Lift a little bit and wheel up in there. You're literally moving metal. That's what you're doing. Bring that edge down a bit. <coughs> Yeah. Notice that I'm not going there. I'm just going through here, but I'm not not going in there yet. Everything is nice and rough at the moment. Just shape it up. Take the pressure off. Back to normal wheeling now. Okay, let's clean it up and have a look. Now the first thing I'm going to do is bend it a little bit and check the top. As I said, that's probably your main thing to worry about at the moment. Then we're going to bend it all the way, somewhere near it. And I'm going to mark the stations, put the pattern over the top and mark the stations. So let's see how we go. I'll check the top first.
Yeah, that's pretty good. It's surrounded here, but it'll, it'll straighten when I bend it. So I'm going to bend the top first. Check where I'm at. Yep. going to give a little straighten there because I can see there's excess material there just get rid of that ear What I'm doing now is I'm pulling some of that metal up where I need it. Because again, I, I can see it, but I can feel it more than seeing it. And I'm gonna wheel up before it. And then we check it, eh? Pull this side down. some sense into this <laughs> yeah we got that going the right way we got that going the wrong way all right let's have a look okay we need to bend it there Let me 
going to bend it here a little bit. Back out. We get it somewhere near it and then we put the pattern so we know exactly where to wheel. Okay, this is, needs to go over and that's to do with the blending. But again, the first thing I do is give it a twist here. Here we go. Now let me grab that. And then of course, and also, also another thing that we're going to do is I'm going to put a little bracket at the back here, drill a small hole like I did on the other side so this panel can always go in the same spot. You can't, you know, you can't move it. So I am happy with that. I'm fairly happy with that for the time being. And as you can see, okay, we're a little bit high here, but I can turn that over. Okay, I'll show you again. Put my, there, put my pattern here. Okay, see that, that's too high, so let me get rid of that immediately. And that's done by doing this. Very slowly, pull it down. And that's what I mean, see we're on top of the blend here. There's going to be some marking, but later on, again, when we got the uh, when we got the patterns in there, we can then wheel exactly what we need to wheel. At the moment, I'm only roughing it up. I'm going sideways because obviously I'm coming around and I've got a flat wheel in there, so that's where you see me going sideways, no other reason. Now I'll pull this down quite a bit. Let's see, maybe a little bit. I'm going to eyeball it, might be a little bit in here, but for here I'll need, uh, oh, maybe not, no, maybe not. You'll have to, you know, eyeball it as well. Um, Okay, that came down. A bit of manipulation. <coughs> and of course, with the profile, um, when we put the, the gauges in there, there might be a little bit of shrinking going on here, a little bit more stretching there, you don't know. But at the moment, we only we only need, only roughing it up so we can eyeball it. I'm keeping the line somewhere near it. Might have to shrink it a little bit, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, we're going to put that back on and check it. A 
and you can see it's rocking there but I still need to bend it but I'm not worrying about that at the moment oops okay I need to go down still here so what I'm going to do I'm gonna get my baton on the bag mark it I'll just check it again it's looking good through here I'll just give you a quick look behind here with the camera I want you to have a look in there even at the early stages we're fairly close to that shape nothing is perfect yet but we'll get there but as I said you know you've got to get it somewhere near it so you can put the gauges back on uh, the profile back on the pattern and, and so you know exactly what to do so now I'm going to drop this edge down okay you can see here I need to drop that edge don't shrink it yet just drop it for the time being so I've got a mark there I'm going to hit it there Look at it, manipulate it a little bit. Yeah, that's looking, that looking somewhat reasonable. just can see the edges now have a look at that edge okay close enough all right now we go back on the back and we'll have a look okay let's put this back on uh, we got uh, zero one two three zero one two three look at that just again at these early stages you can see that it needs more shape here to go down that way but I'm right on the money look at that zero sorry zero through three down there so a little bit more down here actually I would even say I would even say that it's more a matter of putting some shape in here yep putting some shape in there and you do that on the block in hammer again or you could block it by hand this time or you could wheel it so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a sharp wheel on it and just put some more shape here before I go any further <coughs> And I'm going to sort of block it with the sharp wheel. I'm not going to, you know, play with it. I'm going to put some shape in there. Got a fuller wheel in there. And literally, I'm going to put some more shape in there. Now, I'm going to hit it hard this time and pull down because that's what it needs. So I'm checking my... Okay. This got quite a bit of... Quite a bit of... Pressure, but I'm keeping them together. And I'm pulling... Put in a bit of shape. You might as well, you know, you could block it. But I think if we just put a bit of pressure on this 
and then open it up a little bit and smooth it off. Just blend it in a little bit, don't stay on one spot all the time. Back the pressure off and just blend it in a little bit. Again, don't go too far, too quick, keep your eyes on the panel. Don't go mental. Just keep it, keep it simple. Blend it in a little bit. Now if you think it's going to curl too much, you don't see it, just open it up. And do the same process again. <coughs> so I now reopen it. And I'm doing the same process again. Because they're all curled, because the way I'm willing, I am willing downwards but I'm also turning it at the same time, see, look, see the motion, look, because I know what I want to shape, remember the V, if you remember, on the pattern, and I'll show you in a minute. This is the blend, so easy does it boys, easy does it. Okay, well what I'm going to do is show you even before putting the thing on. Gonna lift it up and I see if the camera can get that that look from the top. In other words, the line. I'm gonna close myself down and have a look. Have a look at this line, guys. Just the the the, the line there. Very close, yeah. It's about time that we start. About time that we start uh, putting the. Uh, we we'll put it back on the back one more, check the top, check the size, and if that's close, now we start putting the, uh, we're going to put the, uh, all the lines in. Okay, so, what I usually do, I stand up, look at it like that, and I, I'm very pleased with that line, and then slowly, slowly, I turn it around, and I'm very pleased with the return there as well. Very pleased. So, let's put it on the back. Put it back here. Check that again. And have a look how much it gained. Have a look how much it gained just for a couple of runs. All right, time to put the pattern back on. And start drawing some line. I'm going to put a little screw up the top so it holds it for me and I'm going to lay the pattern and start marking things. Okay, I'm going to clean this up so I can lay the pattern over the top of it. You can clearly see it here, that's got to go in, but when I bend it through here, which it does need to be bent, you can see the flat through there. It might need a bit of wheeling that way. Maybe a little bit of blocking, we don't know yet. 
But when that's bent down, that's going to start to look, as we discussed it before, straight with a seal. See that? Okay, so now we're going to put a pattern back on. And all you need to do is to mark all your lines on the, on the panel and then simply use your gauges or your profiles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in there. Oops, upside down. Try it again, Peter. This way. I'm going to give myself a little bit of tape. Okay, I'm using the center radius, my center radius line to center radius with the buck. I am using the green corresponding with this. As a matter of fact, I might have to drop it, I'm sorry. And a boo here. And as you can see, I'm there we go. I'm lining up the uh, the green with that. Lining up that with that. We know we got some extra material there. We probably have to do a bit of shrinking through here still. Our stretching is done, just got to blend it in. This is okay through here. This is okay through there. So now realistically, what we need to do now is to mark all our stations. You put a scriber, one, two, three, one, two, three, and draw a line in texture or marker, what do you call it, draw that draw that into it because that's important we do know that any roundness is between here and up very little through here you can see that the paper already started and it's fairly flat that way we haven't worked on that yet but we're going to we're going also to twist it a little bit bend it over there all our return look just perfect so you mark all your lines now you get you, you mark your profile your 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 um, station. You get your profile and you literally work on that. Having said that, realistically, if you get number seven and number number seven and number five, and perhaps number zero and number two or three, when you wheel, you can't wheel with lumps. You wheel with it. So, unless you make a big big mistake. They should all be very close, and most of the time, you're bending. What you've got to keep in mind, of course, is if you bend too much, then it will straighten too much. It needs to have a certain shape. And maybe I should get this here for a second, and just see how we go. Oh, God, look at that. Have a look at that, guys. That's the profile of it after the return. That's the sweep. So maybe I fluked it, I don't know, but that's by the time that's bent, it'll straighten up a little bit, so maybe a little bit of wheeling, but it's close, very close. And so far, well the way we got. Between a cup of coffees and cigarettes, I've probably got three and a half hours on it, would you say? Three and a half hours on it. But you can do, I mean, as I said, there's another day on it, but you're nearly there. Now, I'll, I'll take in the pattern the back off. I'll leave it up to you to discretion to put the stations in. There's no need for me to film that. And of course, But what I am going to do, what I am going to do, before we leave, I mark it here, because I can feel something funny going on here. I mark it here, and I'm gonna bend that until that comes home. And that would then look all right through there. So you get a perspective 
or what you must be working with. So let me just take the screws out. And we're going to put that in the same spot every time. So let me take the screws out. One here. <clears throat> Put them somewhere where I can find them and literally bend this. So you can see what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double this up because obviously that's fatter than, than that. I'm going to put that in there and literally bend it there. Put my knee on that and literally bend it there. There we go. Straighten up a little bit in here, obviously. Oop. Give it a little bit more right here. Just feel it. Look at it. Very important to eyeball it. Okay. We're going to put the screw back on. It needs a bit of a... Yep. This way. Oh. It's almost jumping on. Look at that. One little bend here. Okay, screws back on.
Have a look. Doesn't need any screw. But anyway, we'll pull one in. Okay. And now we're going to check. Now we're going to check our line here, which should be pretty right. Look at that. Bit of work here, there's a hollow there, but that's, that's all to do with smoothing off. So there we go. We've got a panel. We've got a panel that it can be worked on now. Okay. One more look at this. I want you to have a look at that. I got it right on the station. Number zero, number one, and two, and on and on. In the center of the radius. Here we go. Okay, now. After putting the station on and working off the stations, if you can't make something out of that, there's something wrong. It is not too full. I'll check it behind here. It's perfect in here. And by wheeling up here, this way, you probably flatten it off a little bit and put the shape up where you need it. It's slanting. You can see the slanting out here. It's probably not as... The return needs a little bit more work, I would dare say, but I'll check it. Okay, guys, I get the camera to look down and I'll show you with this little fella. We are very close. A little bit deeper. If I make it a little bit deeper here, that will then touch there. You see that? And now here we're going into the bulbous. So we're very close. Okay. Uh, the camera tells me I'm running out of batteries. So we might have to leave it here. I hope you enjoy it. It's just a quickie, as I said, just to show you mainly how you wheel. Keep in mind that if you, as I said, on the early stage, if you're doing an Aston, Ma I'm sorry, a Jaguar mudguard or a Austin Healy, that drop is the same process. You just got to stretch the edge and round it off. And, and of course, the Austin Healy, as I said, instead of coming up like that, it comes, it really comes up. But the principle is the same. So. I hope you enjoy it. Unfortunately, I can't finish it. We've got no more batteries in the camera. And there's no point really in smoothing off because realistically, realistically, from now on, you need to be good on the wheel. Um, you can't make any mistakes. Uh, you can do a little bit, yes, but you really need to be on the wheel. And me showing out the wheel will be here forever. And unless you're familiar with the wheel, and done a lot of wheeling, you probably don't get it. But anyway, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.